Future generations of people and polar bears depend on the decisions and plans that we make today. A polar bear's life cycle is almost exclusively tied to the sea ice. Because polar bears rely on sea ice to hunt, to breed, and sometimes to den, sea ice loss from climate change is their biggest threat, and the reason the bears are listed as vulnerable on the IUCN's red list of threatened species. What we learn about climate change impacts on polar bears in Hudson Bay can be applied across the Arctic to help conserve other populations. Climate change is already affecting some populations of polar bears. Since we get most of our energy from fossil fuels, we are producing huge amounts of carbon dioxide. You see, regular amounts of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere act like a blanket around the Earth, trapping heat and keeping our planet at a stable temperature. However, when we burn fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas for energy, we pump rampant amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. This buildup thickens the blanket, trapping too much heat, disrupting the climate, and melting Arctic sea ice. When Arctic waters are cold enough, the top layer freezes into a special type of ice called sea ice. Sea ice is to the ocean what soil is to a forest. It supports the entire Arctic food chain. Food from this marine ecosystem also sustains northern communities. The key to getting the climate back to functioning the way it should, and to preserving a future for polar bears across the Arctic, is to move away from using fossil fuels for energy altogether. The most important thing we can do is vote with the climate in mind to let our leaders know we support a swift transition to renewable energy sources. In the meantime, we can directly participate in and learn more about our local and regional renewable energy options. We can all make a difference outside our own households by influencing where our energy comes from. Because together, we can make sure that polar bears roam the Arctic sea ice for generations to come.